Good afternoon, this is KOCO Chief Meteorologist Damon Lane. Here is your November 18th noon weather briefing on what we have going on not only this past weekend, but what we are going to see coming later this week. Now, yesterday was a very busy, severe weather day across the Ohio Valley. We're looking at at least preliminary data right now of 81 tornado reports, 509 damaging wind reports 42 hail reports for a total of 632 now a lot of these numbers will be scaled down but even if they are scaled down they're probably more so going to be in the four to five hundred range so a significant severe weather outbreak again across the Ohio Valley. Here in Oklahoma, we were not on the severe storm side, but we did get a cold front that moved right on through here and did drop those temperatures early this morning. It wasn't really too cold out there compared to the last couple mornings, but we did see some areas get down to the 20s, like as we look in towards around Kenton, Boys City, as we go out near Guymon, even up in towards around Buffalo, 25 degrees. Here in Oklahoma City, we had a couple areas in Oklahoma County get down into the 30s here, officially with Rogers World Airport. Drop down into the 40s. Tulsa, 33 degrees. Still water temperatures in the 30s. So chilly start to the day. Now that storm system that brought all of that damaging weather across the Ohio Valley now is now making its way up into the northeast. And we do have gale warnings up across basically from New Jersey to Rhode Island and towards around Massachusetts. It's up into Maine. We're not expecting any type of really severe weather. And you can see most of the United States looking pretty quiet out there. We do not have any expected severe weather watches out there for today. So things are going to be much quieter today than yesterday. As we look at temperatures for this afternoon, pretty nice day shaping up across the southern plains. You can see Oklahoma, many of us getting into the 60s, down into Texas, the 70s, as you get even down near around San Antonio, and eventually you make your way into northern Mexico, temperatures in the 80s. A little bit farther north, you see temperatures just a little bit cooler. Not a whole lot, though. Temperatures in Kansas in the 50s. As we look at the big picture, though, you can see where a lot of the cold air is likely going to be this afternoon. Temperatures only in the 20s across North Dakota, Minnesota, and the 40s across the Ohio Valley. As we look at the Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday will likely be a slightly warmer day across the southern plains and the central plains here. Temperatures in the 60s, colder across the mid-Atlantic. Temperatures here in the 40s, and then, of course, seeing the mountain cold setting up across the Rocky Mountains. As we go into Wednesday, some interesting things we have to start watching as we go into Wednesday first. It is still very very warm across the southern plains. So 70s and 60s feeling pretty nice, but here is going to be our next cold front. Very distinct uh, cold front. You can see it clearly here on the map as we look at highs on Wednesday only in the teens in North Dakota. 60s and 70s in Kansas, and we're going to watch this line right here, this cold front, move down to the south. And by Thursday afternoon, this colder air is moving in across the plains, and we're no longer seeing the 60s and 70s in Kansas. Now we're seeing the 20s and 30s as we look here in the Oklahoma. We're going to see southern Oklahoma in the 70s. Northern Oklahoma, Thursday afternoon, only in the 40s and 30s. And that cold air is going to continue to move in. We're likely going to see some rain develop ahead of this front here. This is going to be projected radar coming in from the NAM model on Thursday afternoon. You can see showers and storms lining up from Oklahoma all the way into the Ohio Valley. This blue line that you see right here, this is a freezing line. So anything north of this tends to be snow or a wintry mix. And you can see that likely setting up as we go into Kansas. Now this is where things get very interesting because now we're talking about the chance for some snow and the weather models are having all sorts of fun thinking on exactly what is going to happen. So here I have three weather models that are all depicting how much snowfall we're likely going to see over the next five to seven days or so. The top left hand side of your computer model, this is or, uh, the computer screen here. This is the GFS model here. And notice how it does bring in some snow into extreme northern parts of the Texas Panhandle, Oklahoma Panhandle, and the Kansas. It keeps the snow fairly light, about one to two inches with higher mounts and the mountains. As we go on the upper right hand side of your uh, computer screen here, this would be the GEM model, the Canadian model here. And this has a little bit more snowfall, about two to four inches just with a few heavier bands there going on across northern Kansas and southern Nebraska. Notice how really for Oklahoma, it is going to keep us snow free, except as you make your way out near Guymon, Boy City, and Kenton here. And then we look at the Euro model here. And the Euro model does have 
some similarities to that of the Canadian model here and the fact that it does have a little bit heavier snowfall going across Kansas and it does have some snow making its way here in the northern parts of Oklahoma and then even another heavier snow band you can see right across uh, southern Oklahoma here. This is one that We'll have to watch pretty closely here. I certainly would not rule out there being some snow up in northwestern Oklahoma and especially in the Kansas. Have a lot more confidence with that, but this right here would denote some type of banding going on here. And we're going to have to watch these little features right here to see if we can get snow this far south. Uh, I'm not too sold yet on the fact that we may see snow this far south into uh, southern Oklahoma, but again, this is going to be something that certainly does bear watching. And this is still a couple days away. And we'll have the latest information on what it is looking like when it comes to late week snowfall coming up tonight on KOCO 5 News at 5, 6, and 10. See you then.